Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at thehellblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code goodfella one boxing Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella sent you. Get 18% off. We out. All right, man. On a sad note, we back. Goodfella Sports TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And um, Talvin Smith, who retired last May from the NFL to get his life together, was arrested for unlawful sexual activities with a minor. So um, let's talk about it a little bit. We back. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And um, it's sad. He must have knew he wasn't living right. And also, I think like last November or something, they SWAT kicked in his door. And um, I don't know what they found, but this happened in Jacksonville. He from Valdosta, Georgia. And you just, you just gotta pray. You just gotta pray for, pray for guys like him, man. Cause he retired from football and he knew something wasn't right. He knew something wasn't right, man. And um, you know, this could be anything. This could, he just charged. It ain't, you know, it ain't like he was convicted, but it don't look good for him. So you know, to leave ten million dollars on the table last season. To you know, try to get your life together and something ain't right. You don't never know what it could be. Everybody think you get that money and it cure all the problems, and it don't. Money can create more problems, especially if you living fast before you really got money and you getting away with stuff. And they, you know, a lot of athletes they let them get with get away from stuff as soon as they special. Man, be from Pop Warner football, YBL basketball, Pal basketball, whatever it is, they let it, let them slide. And when you get to the real world, you ain't going to just be able to slide like that. So, you know, obviously, they knew he had some issues going on. And the NFL should have continued to assist this young man trying to get his life together. You know, they shouldn't, a player shouldn't have to reach out or have to, you know, cry too loud to get help. Because every player, every player that, um, that get in trouble, retired or current player, that's another black guy on the league. And that's what... Roger Goodell trying to clean up. So when he abruptly retired and left ten million dollars on the table, and it wasn't connected to injury. And when I remember when he retired, because I thought he ended up coming back when they tried to recoup some of his money, and when it wasn't when it wasn't you know tied to injury, they should they should have stepped in, and they should have assisted this dude. You know what I'm saying? You can't wait for these players to hit the hotline up and, and, and ask for help. They got to jump in and do a better job. Now, could this be just him being reckless and careless about the females that he's talking to? Could be. Thinking she, a lot of these females be 15, 16, and they be built like they in their 20s now. Look at the Catch Me Outside girl. Boxer Adrian Broner went in her DM not knowing she was 16. I didn't know she was 16. I thought she was at least 17. So... That could be a situation where he was, you know, he, he was with an underage girl and didn't even know. So that that is definitely a, a, issue, a situation where um, maybe he did, maybe he didn't know. I just, you know, I just feel bad, bro. You know, that you see all these successful brothers continue to get in trouble and they just throw their life away and stuff and stuff like that. But, you know, when somebody retired like that, the NFL should have like an exit program. You know what I'm saying? When you retire from the league or take time off, may it be physical, may it be mental, may it be dealing with shit, they need an exit program. Just like when you leave college and you got to have an exit program for your loans and shit of that nature. You should have an exit program. And you should have to go through some type of rehabilitation because it's a lot of physical and mental trauma playing football. Trust me, I'm dealing with injuries. You already see me popping my neck. My fucking neck still hurt from shit I've been through. You know, it's a lot of stress that your family put on you about asking for money when you get to that level. So the NFL got to continue to to do more as far as, you know, to help players out and avoid shit like this, man. You know, but, you know, praying for the whole situation, you know, praying for the victim, you know what I'm saying? If it, if it got to that bad, but... I'm, I'm just shaking my head, man. I'm just shaking my head because this, this, this don't make no sense, man. But hey, 
I linked that article in the description. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out. If you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, bill question, want to make a donation to the channel, cash app, PayPal there. Appreciate the love, support. Y'all know what the business is. One time for the one time. We gone.